Over the last few weeks, students at schools across Milton Keynes have been putting their engineering skills to the test to build, design and code their very own remote controlled nifty lifts. All of their hard work is going to be showcased here today as they battle it out to find out who is going to be the winner of the RC Nifty Challenge. It's the same wheel. The wheels have literally come off. Each school will take part in two challenges. A presentation of their work to the judges from Nifty Lift and the dreaded obstacle course. So it is presentation time right now and I'm not going to lie, it looks a little bit scary because there's some very important people in there. But we're looking for a team that really working well together. Enjoying the challenge is definitely the most important bit, but also working together to find the solutions. We were a bit nervous about the presentation, but we've done what we can to prepare for it, and ultimately that's all we can do. I think we are the youngest here, so that might make it slightly more difficult. But I feel like we're going to do all right. We've got it working, kind of, so fingers crossed. It really gives them a great experience and maybe just that little, yes, I really want to go into this area. Right, now it's time for the big one, the obstacle course. Each nifty lift has to perform a series of tasks. The course is designed to really put the RC nifties through their paces. It will test the model's maneuverability, precision and gradeability. We've just done the obstacle course. It went quite well. There's more than one route to go around it, so it makes you think a bit more. This team were a little bit nervous about how they were going to get through with those wheels, and I do think they're having a little bit of trouble with them. The part I'm most scared about is over there by the houses, because one of them, there's not much room to turn around. I mean, the setup alone is, is some fantastic what I've done here and what we've achieved here. Seeing all the modelling, the street scene, the mats coming together, that's been absolutely amazing. Do you reckon you can lower the boom so it goes, goes forward a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whilst the judges make their decisions, let's go check out one of these guys but in full size. You can see everything. Yeah. Got to see the city over there and the school over there. Why um, also is the um, floor see-through? Make it scary. Make people feel the danger. <laughs> I'm feeling the danger. Oh god! They're pretty cool machines, aren't they? Yeah, I think they said they used hydraulics to power these. They're really, really cool. I really like how they work. It is very, very exciting to be here to see who is going to win the RC Nifty Challenge. I saw some of you before Christmas and seeing where the machine was before Christmas to now, it's yeah, they've come on so much. I'm so proud of you all, honestly. <laughs> I've been so impressed. It's so good to see everyone's ideas on how to do the counterweight challenge. You've all thrived in so many different aspects and I can't wait for you all to see who the winner is. Chairman and founder of Nifty Lifts, it was your idea to put this amazing event together. How important is it to do things like this for young people? Oh, it's absolutely essential. Innovation, innovation, innovation. That is so important for everything you do in life. Well done, everybody. Absolutely incredible. Well done to the Nifty Lift team for putting this whole package together. Yeah. I think you've done a great job. Time for the bit you've all been waiting for. The results are in. It is my great pleasure to announce that this year's winner is Team Pretzel Elevation yeah! from Denby. Yeah! Well done. Come on in, come on in. I know I don't want to go back in with the Nifty Lift. Thank you very much, Dylan. Thank you very much. Have a big round of trophies. Yeah. <laughs> Please, can we give another big round of applause for all the amazing students, the teachers, and the team at Nifty Lift as well who've made today such a success?
We've been really impressed with the students today. They've all come at this from very different angles. We've been really impressed with the creativity and a lot of things that we never would have expected them to do. And that's what's so exciting for us, to be able to see young people coming up with new ideas that, that we wouldn't have thought of. So uh, it's been great. Resilience has been amazing at the teamwork, the problem solving, and actually just almost already the engineering knowledge they had was absolutely brilliant. It's been so great to see the project kind of come to light and how all the effort that the schools have put in, um, it's been absolutely phenomenal really. Yeah, RC Nifty is definitely going to be back bigger and better next year.